You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. All right, so, you know, Janine, uh, Judge Jean, Janine Pirro has been yanked or suspended uh, from a Sabbath, Saturday evening broadcast of Fox News. Uh, and we don't know how long she's been suspended, whether she'll be back this week. Trump has been tweeting about put J- Judge uh, Pirro back up. Uh, which I found ridiculous and beneath that what a president ought to be doing, supporting a particular uh, newscaster. But I got an email from a fellow, I guess I used to have some relationship, named Stephen Mars, who says, we are no longer watching Fox News until Judge Jeanine Pirro is reinstated. Judge Jeanine Pirro was suspended by Fox for the following comment she made on her show. It was directed at uh, Democrat, Minnesota and Democrat Congresswoman Omar. And I quote, uh, and this is what Janine Pirro said, and I quote, is Representative Omar's adherence to the Islamic doctrine of an indication of her adherence to Sharia law, which is antithetical to the U.S. Constitution, unquote. Um, And it goes on to say, we see nothing wrong with this question, Stephen writes. Mm. It was, in fact, a question on every normal viewer's mind. The following uh, was our response, which was sent to Fox. We urge you to immediately call or email Fox and tell them how you feel. Please note the phone number has been indicated, uh, et cetera. Um, What else does it say here? Um, And here's, I guess here's a, a form letter to whom it may concern. Too bad your network has taken a turn to the left. As conservatives, my husband and I can no longer watch your station. Your condemnation and subsequent submission, suspension rather, of Judge Jeanine Pirro because of her remarks concerning Congresswoman Ilban Omar is the last straw. Omar is a deeply offensive person and has made numerous anti-Semitic, anti-Israel statements before and after being elected to Congress. Let me just pause there for just a second. I'm still having problems, I mean major problems to figure out why any Jew would still support Trump after the tree of life slaughter because the, the person was a white supremacist and these white supremacists, they, these, these people that God's killing that we reported on in the, in the other segments of uh, you know, white supremacy through the eyes of a Jim Crow uh, uh, sharecropper, baby boomer. These white supremacists are under some illusion. Somebody told them that Jews are bringing in Muslims. That's crazy. Is you know crazy. Somebody told these white supremacists, and their doctrine is that Jews will not replace us. Jews will not replace us. Jews will not replace us. Will not replace us. Well, <clears throat> pardon me. Jews are not going to numerically replace them. They believe that Jews are bringing Muslims to America to replace the white man. They believe that Jews are bringing Mexicans, caravans of Mexicans to America to replace the white man. And so the the fellow went into the Tree of Life synagogue there in Pittsburgh, going back last year, and killed those people in the Tree of Life synagogue because he's following the Trump doctrine of white supremacy. And yet these Jews, right, still support Trump after he went into this. It's crazy. Anyway, all right, so here, continuing now with this letter to Fox News. Uh, uh, They passed a resolution condemning all hatred, not specifically directed at her. That's not enough. Talking about the Nancy Pelosi deal with Ibn Omar after she made such statements. Now, Fox has decided to suspend Judge Gina, Janine's show for her comments about the Congress, Congresswoman's possible adherence to Sharia law. This is a concerted effort by the left to rid Fox of all Trump supporters and more conservative commentators such as Tucker, Hannity, Roy Ingram, and Janine Pirro. Uh, and it goes on. You allow people like Chris Wallace, Judge Napolitano, Shepard Smith to continually bash President Trump. He's the illegal president, mind you. This week's Chris Wallace show was as critical of President Trump, or the illegal President Trump, as you can get. He demanded 
that the illegal president make a speech condemning the Islamic phobia and supporting uh, Muslims. This was particularly offensive to Jews and Christians since he never called for a speech against anti-Semitism or anti-Christianity, Christianity, which has reached epidemic proportions here and around the world. So that's a letter, a form letter that's now being sent to Fox News. Let's see if Fox result, uh, responds to that. There's something else happening to Fox News. Many of the advertisers on Tucker Carlson's broadcast and Sean Hannity have withdrawn. In fact, Fox, they've said we're going to leave all together. So you may discover that the advertisers, who are not necessarily white supremacists, uh, will pull their ads from Tucker Carlson and, uh, and Janine Pirro as well. And none of them will be up there. Or if they do, it'll be, Fox will have to carry them without any financial support. So all this is the dynamics of what's happening. But I think it's important for us to understand, you know, all of this has to be received in the context that this is the work of God. We're in the tribulation. We're in the tribulation. And God's killing these people. God's killing them. Now, God's killed other people before. God killed the Jews. He sent Nebuchadnezzar into Babylon to kill the Jews. God killed the firstborn of my father Ham in Egypt with Moses. God sent the death angel to get this great icon out of the Bible and I called the Passover. Where my father Ham, his firstborn, all of Egypt's firstborn were killed, including cattle and kind. God killed them. God killed them, I tell you. God killed the Sodomites and Sodom and Gomorrah. God killed them, you see. I said, God killed them. He killed them all. Killed them all. Now God is killing white men. Not so much white women, but white men. God's killing them. I mean, you know, it's easy to understand, yeah, God killed in the days of my father Ham, yeah, God killed, listen, God killed the Jews over there with, in Jerusalem under Jeremiah. He killed them, raped the virgins, burned the temple. God killed them. I said, God killed them. God's killing now in America. He's still God. Same today, yesterday, and he is still God. And he's still, so, you know, that you, uh, I mean, all this news and all of what's happening with Trump and all, okay, all right, it's interesting to watch this degenerate every day and watch the news respond to it. But this is out of the hands of the voter. It's out of the hands of socialism or capitalism. And I can tell you this, that socialism will make a, a, a headway uh, it, it, with these new, if you will, democratic congresspersons that are coming in. But ultimately, God's going to kill them too. Ultimately, God going to kill the Democrats. God going to kill them all. But right now, the hammer is on white men. God's killing them. Now, it, I don't say that because I hate white folk. I tried my best. I, I went out on a limb to work with them and still will. But I, I ain't got no power to stop God from killing. God killing them. This is a bit of a news blog we do looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the Word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man in report will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the man in report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning, and I'm here to serve you with news and information.